So because I'm dumb and for really no other reason, I start summer school today. Well, actually I started yesterday, I just didn't realize that I started yesterday. And it's not a huge deal, it's just a couple of courses that I never finished during the year to kind of wrap up the requirements you need to, you know, graduate from my institution. Now, do I think it's a waste of time? Yeah. I mean, it's not really a waste of money because the school's paying for almost all of it, and summer school's surprisingly a lot cheaper than during the year, which is weird because it's the same, it's the same credit hours. I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess it's shorter. It's only six weeks instead of, what, 18 weeks or 12 weeks, however many weeks it is. But I'm here, and I'm, I'm, I'm taking the classes. <sighs> and yesterday, looking at the syllabuses, syllabi? Of the multiple classes, I was pretty stressed. But coming in today, I started doing some work, and it's it's really not that bad. Once I finish these cl these classes, I will have that piece of paper that's worth, well, costs a lot of money and time, but supposedly it will be worth it. That's what Emily keeps telling me and my parents and everyone else. And if for no other reason, people will stop asking me when I'm going to graduate. So <sighs> I have to do those today. Now, luckily, because of COVID or for a million other reasons, all of my classes are online. And even more than that, they're all asynchronous. So I don't actually have to meet in person with anyone or even meet on a Zoom as they did for my other classes. However, the kind of first couple of days, they want to do like a introduction, which I don't really understand why we need to introduce ourselves. We're never going to meet these people in person, nor are we going to do any sort of projects with them. As far as I know, I really do not want to do group projects. And even if we do, do you really need- I, I don't really understand the point of this Zoom meeting. It's gonna take like an hour and I just- I really don't want to do it, but I feel like this is an important thing to go to, so uh, I'm just sitting around waiting for it to start, which it's not my favorite thing in the world. So I just finished my one and hopefully only Zoom meeting and it was- it was incredibly boring. It's- this business class, which first of all, I think any sort of business class is a sort of waste of time. It's just a bunch of nonsense words and you just sit around talking about the theory of business, even though none of you like actually have started a business. If you're any good at starting a business, you might need to be a business major. And that professor is really nice, although she's super young. I mean, she's only a couple years older than I am. She's maybe like 25, 26 years old, which is kind of crazy to think that someone basically in my nice age could be a professor, although when you think about it, my wife is a doctor, so I guess it's not like the biggest thing in the world. It's just, it's really strange, at least to me. But she's nice. It's just, I think the class and the whole idea of the class is just absolutely ridiculous. It's called organizational behavior. And you just talk, basically you talk about how like to organize a company to run efficiently, which like, I don't know, if you really want to know how to do that, run a business. Don't just sit around talking theory and reading theoretical books. Like, just just do it. This theory isn't going to do anything. And maybe it just bothers me because I'm an English major and I feel like the things that we do, like, actually matter to the world and add value to the world. Or maybe it's because I own a business and, like, I know actually how to run a business and these things are not helpful at all. But I don't know. It's fine, I guess. I'm now going, uh, to find Brandon and Papa. They, they, they went to some coffee shop, so I'm gonna go see if I can find it. We uh, just visited this like marketplace. I probably should have shot something in there, but I didn't. So we're in, we're in the yeah. car right now. It's a pretty cool place. We'll probably come back tomorrow. There's like a bunch of little shops and mm -hmm. me and Brandon got some sushi, which was, it was yeah, fine. Sushi. Yeah, it was fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, for West Virginia, I feel like probably yeah. better than I expected. Good yeah. stuff. And so now we are going to a park to do whatever you do at a park. You excited, Brian? Yes. To the park we go. <clears throat> we are here at Coon Park in West Virginia. Because Papa is here, I was hoping that we could find some sort of paved path. I'm not sure if they have that here. We probably should have looked before we came. I'm gonna blame Brandon for this one, although I guess I could have looked too. I mean, it's really pretty and nice and it's so quiet, which I'm starting to fall in love a bit with West Virginia. It's just this really quaint little town. And I know Charleston's like the biggest city here, and sure there are parts that aren't the safest place in the world, but I, there's something really... I don't know. 
it just feels like home in a way that Indiana does. It's, it's like home-esque, but it's still far enough away that it's not home. Although I could probably never convince Emily to move here, even though it's super cheap and beautiful. But uh, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Maybe we can find a paved trail, probably not. After that, who knows? Couldn't find a paved path, but or I can vlog in. It's going well. the cap to this lens here I looked all around like the ground and in the car and in my like pockets I can't seem to find it it's not like the biggest deal in the world but it does bother me this West Virginia is nice well except for all the airplanes that's less than great but too pretty Brandon and I are on a hike indeed we are we left Papa at the skate park mm-hmm Watching people skate. Probably doing a little skating himself. Probably. <laughs> Brought his uh, penny board. Yeah. Doing some sick tricks. <laughs> but, <Oops. laughs> but we uh, we hiked along this uh, path here next to the river. It's really, really pretty. We met some West Virginians. Yeah. They seem to be nice people. Nice enough. Yeah, nice enough. And now we're back to uh, make sure Papa isn't dead. Fingers crossed. Brandon took us to a coffee shop, which, uh, well, first of all, he sent us to the wrong place. But then we found the right place, which seemed like a good a good bet. But then um, it was a series of disappointments. My hot chocolate was cold. Brandon, My bubble tea was warm. He got boba tea, which he doesn't even like, <laughs> which is kind of his own stuff. fault. Uh, uh, Papa accidentally ordered soup. So uh, it, it, was, it was a disappointing adventure, but hopefully this next one will, will be better. I'm in this bookstore in a bathroom, and as you can see, people have written on all of these books, but there's nothing like uh, gross or like, like they all like, are like, hey, like be good people, and, and you know, just like words of encouragement, which is not what you would think for a bathroom stall, but uh, good for this local bookstore. I think it's called Taylor's Books. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool place. You should come check it out over here in Charleston, West Virginia. We are at a place called DP Doe. It's the original calzone company. First place to make them. First, apparently. I, uh, we got milkshakes here. I saw this place yesterday and I said, Brandon, we should go here. And he completely forgot that this place existed. Yeah. But luckily, I found it on our way to Dairy Queen. Well, I found it actually. Wow. Someone's a bit of a hog when it comes to, uh, take credit for yeah. things. Yeah, taking credit for things that I did yet, but I Wow. So we're getting milkshake, and I got, also got some cheesy bacon tops, which uh, should be pretty good. So overall, I was day two in West Virginia. Tiring, but exciting. I don't know how tiring. He fucks like most of the day. Exactly.